Well, I started to feel uh, uh, shortness of breath and uh, uh, chest pain. So the next day I went in to, uh, for tests and uh, sure enough the, there was an issue with the valve that was uh, not closing properly and leaking some of the blood back. I went back into the hospital uh, in San Boniface and uh, I reached the emergency door and I had a heart attack right there. You know, heart disease is so prevalent and uh, the cost of it, human life cost as well as the financial cost of it, is into billions in Canada alone, let alone the worldwide. Uh, and in case of heart attack, what happens is that uh, a given person is working fine and having day-to-day -day activities and all of a sudden he faces this chest pain and he goes into heart attack mode where heart is not being provided enough fuel for it to function. It's pretty close, but it's not authentic. There was no warning signs at all uh, throughout my life that I didn't have, I was uh, uh, only uh, had an issue with uh, nosebleed when I was a child, but then that's it, I was never sick uh, until, you know, uh, I started having the pains and that was the uh, valve. But if a person survives, then this particular heart has certain portion damaged already. It's a compromised heart. So this compromised heart can sustain life for some time, but not for a longer period. So for us to then prolong the life of a survivor after the heart attack, we need to address it. How can we strengthen this weakened heart? And this is what this patch has the potential to do, but we have to test it out. CITEL is the Canadian Italian Tissue Engineering Laboratory and what we're looking at is cardiac stem cells. So we're looking at the ability of stem cells to regenerate tissue, particularly after a heart attack where your heart dies. Uh, what we're hoping for is that we'll uh, generate stem cells in patches that we can put over the heart and recover that area so that it's regenerated and it beats in a normal fashion. So the impact of, of CITEL and the work that will be done at CITEL uh, will have a, a, an impact at various levels of granularity. At a very personal scale, people who are impacted by either chronic heart disease or the impacts of a heart attack uh, will now have this restorative technology available to them. From a, global, from a quality of life perspective, this is groundbreaking. Uh, someone once said not that long ago that this was the realm of science fiction 10 years ago. The heart does not restore itself. It, it's the only organ in your body that actually does not restore itself. This is restorative technology. So it will make a huge impact to people and families on a personal scale. Research is, has not become only very sophisticated, it is very, very expensive and all agencies in Canada and in the world are strapped for funds to support research. So we rely heavily now for other sources of funding. What we're hoping to attract in funding for the CITEL laboratories is a quarter of a million dollars. That funding will go toward operation of the laboratory, so reaching out to the public is absolutely essential for us to obtain additional funding to allow us to do the research that is critical for extending the health of the citizens of today. I thought that research, quite frankly, was funded through our healthcare dollars. It's not. So it's really up to us to step forward at whatever level we're able, because every little bit helps. This isn't about you know, the, the big donation, those are great, uh, but all of us can make a difference as well uh, to the extent that we are able to make that difference. And that's, that's what's the beauty of this campaign, is it's not so gargantuan that we're talking about years and years. We want to raise a quarter million dollars. And a quarter million dollars is what keeps us from being where we are today to operationalizing 
the Canada Italy Tissue Engineering Laboratory. So it's achievable and it's achievable by all of us. It's great to see the research being done in Winnipeg as well, uh, you know, which is, uh, you know, uh, saves lives and I'm proof of that. Uh, we are, are very grateful that the Sons of Italy have stepped forward uh, and, and included Cytel within their broad realm of philanthropy. They do an incredible amount of, of good work in this community. The finish line is so close uh, and they will be a, a big piece of getting us toward and over the finish line and truly making Cytel what it can be and needs to be to make this technology real. It is fortunate to be able to be in that position to help and uh, I'm glad that this year that they chose the St. Boniface uh, Hospital for, uh, to donate because uh, I am here because of them.